So sometimes medications come in a powdered form and have to be reconstituted into a liquid form uh, to be given. So I've got an example here. A physician orders 500 milligrams of Zithromax to be administered intravenously. Uh, in stock is a vial of powdered Zithromax that has the following statement on the vial. Constitute to 100 mi milligrams per milliliter with 4.8 milliliters of sterile water for injection. And then they want us to, term to determine the number of milliliters that should be given. So this problem actually isn't a whole lot different than all the other dosage calculation problems that we've been doing. We can use dimensional analysis again. So <clears throat> what we have to figure out is what is our conversion factor? So what's in the on-hand medication? What do we have available for us to use? Well, I see 100, once it's reconstituted with that 4.8 milliliters of sterile water for injection, I see it'll be at a strength of 100 milligrams per milliliter. Um, <clears throat> we also know the ordered dose, that the desired dose that we'd like to have is 500 milligrams. So again, um, we know we have, we need to give 500 milligrams, and I want to multiply by some factor, right, the, that will tell us how many milliliters I need to give with the ratio or the amount that I have in stock. So I see I've got 100 milligrams per milliliter. So I'm going to make a conversion factor out of that. Um, I want, what do I want in the top, the milliliters or the milligrams? So I think I want the milligrams to go on the bottom because I need them to cancel out. And so then if the milliliters on, are on top, yep, that's exactly what I'm going to be left with. I want the milliliters on top because that's what I want to have when I'm all done. So one milliliter on the top, 100 milligrams on the bottom. Multiply this together, cancel these guys out. I get five and then every, all the units canceled out except for milliliters. And I got the five by taking the 100 and dividing that into the 500. So 500 divided by 100 gives you just five. And there we have it. We use dimensional analysis to solve a reconstitution dosage calculation problem.